Hey everyone, and now we're going to continue our discussion of metas and non-metas. This is just a follow-up video, it will, it's going to be short. We're going to talk about transition methods, which are also known as, let me switch the font to make it more clear, which are known as metalloids. And metalloids are found in group 3 to 7. Now, metalloids share common properties from both metals and non-metals. So let's discuss some of these properties. Well, they are solids and they can be shiny or dull. So can be shiny or dull. Now also they are ductile and we mentioned in the last video ductile means the ease with which we can form the metal into wires. Also they are malleable. And last thing they can conduct electricity so they can conduct electricity and heat so although they can conduct electricity and heat but they're not as good as pure metals like group 1 and 2 metals, but they're not as bad as non-metals. So they're somewhere in between. So this was a short video only regarding transition metals and it's a follow-up video from the last one. So stay tuned, we're gonna talk about bonding, ionic bonding and covalent. So good luck!